Hello everybody, my name is Ibi and welcome back to Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer where I'm playing as Mordor. This is episode 31 and we're going to leave just where I last stopped playing. I was going to take Edlon, wasn't I? I was going to take that offline. But we're going to go in and we're going to take them out quickly because I uh, forgot. And uh, yes, so we'll go in and kill them. And then we'll see what we're going to do about the rest of Dol Amroth. But uh, maybe Dol Amroth will fall in this episode. It's been a couple of days since I played now. I, I um, wanted to take a break. And because yesterday I finished Rohan as well, I was like, I'm going to take a break for a day. Relax and then play. And hopefully it will do well. So let's uh, begin. Ah. Okay, yes. Uh, sorry. Go on a second. We go to the UI. So we're going to go to show. Command button show. Uh, slide, sorry. We're going to go for unit cards to show. Show. Fantastic. I sometimes take off my interfaces for when I do some of like the thumbnails for stuff. Okay, so let's see. What else have we got here? We do have like one archer unit, so I'll need to fix that. Two units of our black Numenorians. Uruk bodyguard. Our infantry. Our maulers. Okay. I'm going to pop them in front, actually, because I want them to go in first. Oh, we have our halberds, who I want to go in as well. Just got the one modern on guard, I guess. Yeah, and we have some household cavalry and then a unit of Candish raiders. We also have another unit of trolls, technically, because the catapults are pretty much trolls. One of them is, anyway. It's a nice, beautiful day in Edlund. However, this settlement will have to fall again, I'm un unfortunately. We've taken it before, but uh, now it will have to fall again. All their men are, are not even bothering to, like, come to the... to the gate anyway, so I don't even think we need to do much else. General up, more on guard. Ooh, that's a weird textured tree, isn't it? Okay, so let's go in, guys, and then when we get in, we will. Let me. No. Yeah, there we go. I just want to get them off their catapults. Also, at the moment, I also have some sort of, like, a cough. It's like a scratchy cough, so that's, again, another reason why I kind of, like, waited a little bit to play. Because I can feel it tickling right now, but it's not that much of a problem. I'm gonna go round. Our two units of bodyguards can be used as well. We're gonna basically just encircle them and many different sides. Why not? Get these guys to run around here. Run around here with the Moran and Guard, and you can have the trolls as compensation for how shitty you are. You can have these guys come around here. And you can put the um, halberdiers in front as well, actually, to be honest. Uruk bodyguards coming in slowly and uh Ooh. That's good, right? Go for the maulers, go for the maulers. Okay, what else is going on then? Uruk bodyguard. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. No, they're going the wrong way. It's fine. Oh, that was their general dead. Okay. I didn't realize the general was in such a crappy unit. That's not very good for them. Okay. Trolls. 
controls. Victory will be ours. Let's get a scream off going. Another one. You know, they're wavering already, but because they're in the town square, they are not gonna break. Tiathara Wardens are coming back to fight again. I'm gonna pull my general out of there. Because I know that Dol Amroth are very, very good and that they would easily take me down in this circumstance, so. I wanna try and surround them a little bit better though. As you can see, we lost quite a few of our black Numenorians doing this. Our three trolls are doing what they do best. Our other trolls are doing... Oh, let's get them out of there for a second. In fact, I think we lost one. There should be 11 of them, maybe? Let's see. 9% of 37, so we are doing very well. Get a charge going in. Let's go round. They're not very happy. The problem is because we're sieging them out, we can't make them rout. A nice charge coming in from our Nazgul. Our Black Numenorians. Here he is. Boom. That troll will definitely die. Which is a shame. However, we're, yeah, we managed to easily claw back and kill some of their men there with a charge from our Nazgul, so hopefully we can do that again. Here comes the trolls! Battering and knocking them down, ooh. How much have we lost now? 14%. If you come outside of the thing, you will start to get routed. Oh, they were slightly inside, so they didn't get it. I'm surprised how well Mordor does against um, Dol Amroth, to be honest. Dol Amroth are powerful, but we've pretty much taken them to their knees a couple of times. And even when we lost that time, we managed to kill a lot of them and, and do a lot of damage, so... It was very interesting to say the least. Okay, how are we doing? Very well. Can't do any screams yet. Let's get out with our general again and we'll hammer an anvil. We're losing some trolls from our catapults, but uh, to be honest, catapult trolls can be built anywhere, actually, so it's fine. Our three trolls are doing very well, though. Speed everything up now. We've pretty much beaten them. Ah, uh -huh, we've now taken control, so it's only a matter of time. But I think we'll kill them all before then, though. Oh, no, we lost one of our trolls again. I'm gonna send that unit back now to retrain. I think it's it's served its time. Two of them can go back and retrain. I definitely think that it's time. An easy victory, and Edlon is ours once again. 343 lost though, which is quite a lot. However, the next army is coming in, and we're basically gonna march to the Lamroth and take them out. Which is great, because they need to die. They, they just need to die. They're a massive problem. Once we take off um, Dol Amroth, going to, like, towards Gondor is easy. Let's exterminate them so they learn their lesson. Oh, we need to try to Melkor. Alright, so our trolls can make their way back to... Sirithangal, or wherever they can be trained. What else is going on in the world right now? I seem to forget. We managed to take out Dale, although there's an army right there. Ah, yes, we were gonna head... 
we were gonna head north and take Buragram from the dwarves, which will be you wish to power, interesting because we will have to fight the dwarves, which we haven't done yet. Get ready for fighting! Come on! Listen up! Pick your feet up! Or they're sleeping here! Listen up! So in the next turn, Get this army will fighting. go out and we'll go for Objective. that place. I'm not too sure if Rune will come and help us, but uh, sounds like they will. We have completed and an down here, oh, we were definitely going to go do the invasion. Here. Maybe the invasion we will happen in this episode. Let's see, what else have we got to do? Get ready Nothing else, it's an end turn. Okay, let's go. This campaign is going very well, and I think I'm managing things very well, as, to be honest, as well. And I keep saying as well, and it's getting too much but no I think I'm doing very well and the management between the armies and getting units out there is quite doing pretty good we're by far easily destroying most factions and I don't even think the elves can compare with us right now because even though we're a horde faction we can yeah by that meaning just hoard them over and I, I just don't think the elves will ever do that well the problem will be getting my um, black Numenorians caught Oh, have we had them back yet? I don't think we've had them back yet. Lorien under attack. Darwinian in decline. No sleeping here. I don't think we've had some of our Nazgul back. No sleeping here. Oh. Holy crap. Right. Well. I don't know how I'm supposed to get in here to attack them. Look how many armies there are. There's one, There's two Harad armies. There's a Rune army. There is a Dol Guldur army. And two stacks of Isengard. And an Orcs of the Misty Mountains. So, Jesus. It's um, not looking good for them. Okay. Dol Armoth have come out. So, Lord Dun Ear is here. Ooh, we can attack it with this army. Let's see. What have they got that's really good? White Knights, Gondor Cavalry, nothing. They honestly have nothing. It's mostly crap. Get ready for fight. But if I attack it with this army, uh, let's leave our general in here and see. Attack. Wait. No sleeping here. Get ready, get ready for fight. No sleeping here. Let's see. Allow this army to be controlled by the AI. Let's do that. Let me save this as Mordor battle. In case you guys are wondering why I save before each battle, it's in case I get a crash. Even though it's not often. I hope I haven't jinxed myself. I'm touching wood right now. But uh, yeah, there's always in case that happens. I just, uh, I really don't want to get some random crashes. And it would be good if... I have a backup save. So I knew this was going to happen. I, I knew they were going to do this. This is why I'm going to put my catapults right here. Because then we can just shoot them. And hopefully they'll come across. Do I have any... No, we have no... Um... No, we don't have any units that can use... Stakes. Which is a real shame. Okay, let's line them up. I'm gonna try and bait them to come towards me. Okay. I wonder if they uh, fix the voices for the orcs in the next patch, because some of them speak like men. And some speak like orcs. And it is a little bit immersion breaking if I'm gonna say so myself. Because some of them go like spears and it's go time and I'm gonna stick you. And then some are like advance and weapons ready and men like that. So it's just kind of like, well, are you an orc? How come there's six, six of these guys? What happened to them? Did we lose like more of them when I wasn't paying attention? I think we did. Do 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 do. Ba da dum ba da dum dum bum ba da dum ba da dum. 
Here we go. Let's fire all catapults into them. Boom! Away! Oh, terrible show. Terrible show, my friends. Let's go for the white knights. Or let's go for the, the uh, guardsmen. Are you guys just being hit? Let's put them on the side. Go. Come on. Let's see a better volley from you. Is volley the right term? No, it's not the right term. Barrage? Barrage. Barrage would be the right time. Boom! There we go. Ooh, nasty. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, Royal Swan Guard. Let's hit them. We can hit them. I don't know why most of them hit this bit here. It's like they're they're not hitting far enough. But I, I want to do as much damage as I can to the Swan Guards. There are generals in this unit as well, and if I could hit the general then it would be fantastic. We're getting some really close shots to him right now. Come on. Ooh. Oh, nasty. Let's turn them off fire at will and tell them to fire. Fire, I tell you. Come on. No, half these shots are going way off target. More than half. Where are you guys going? Is there another crossing? No? No, there's not. Ooh. Nasty. I wonder what was hitting them. They're running away now. Well, that's not fair, is it? Okay, well, let's bring our infantry around then. Maybe they're running away now. They're like, we can't take it. Let's run away. these guys. What are you guys? Raiders. I don't think they're... Yeah, I don't think they're actually gonna run away. I think they're gonna just line up. It looks like they're about to cross, if I'm honest. And I think they are. And I'm very tempted to fire into my own men, or orcs even, because that's what uh, that's what Mordor would do. And these are coastal wardens, so these guys are gonna get killed, slaughtered. That's right. Bring your men back into the. We've only killed 12% of their army. Wow. Here's our Uruk Halberts. Like They're coming in. The We're basically going to push them back across the bridge. I don't care if we lose a large portion of our force. I know this is like one of their last armies. Come on. The general's right there. Come on, we just need one good shot. Ooh, that was a nice one, though. Good, good, good. You're listening to me. If we can get our trolls into their cavalry, that'll be... Well, that's what I'm going to do with our trolls, and we're done. If we can break through their line enough, it'll be into there. Ooh, come on. Come on, we're so close. Ooh, that was nice. Hikeman, though. Hikeman, though.
What are you firing now? <laughs> Rotting meat. It's affecting my frame rate drastically. Does it like do anything? I like the effects though. It's really cool. Yeah, my game really does not like the effect. Oh, it does kill... It causes like a poison effect. Which causes some stuttering. Jesus, that must be terrifying to see. Well, we didn't kill their uh, leader, unfortunately. And our, our allies are coming very slowly towards us. They've got the trolls. The trolls is what I need, essentially. I need our men to, like, bleed out into their... Can you... Stay there. We need to slowly just kind of edge out into their cavalry, which is what we want to. Can you guys like not do that? These guys are like hovering slightly above the bridge from what I can see. It's a slog fest, I'm afraid. I'll get you some lovely close-ups, though. Doll Amroth are putting up a Valiant fight, but as you can see, 45%. We're doing very well now. I'm trying to get my cavalry to attack their militia cavalry. And our trolls will be used exclusively for the Swan Knights and the White Knights. Let's have a nice look at them. Doll Amroth on the pole right now is doing quite well, but it's not the highest, I'll tell you that right now. Remains. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Half the enemy force remains. Of course, our ally. Can you come on and help us at attack, please, maybe? Yeah, come. Come on, attack, maybe? They don't see the enemy as a threat. And because we're around, they're like, no, we'll, we'll, we'll not attack them. Okay, so how long... It would be wise if you guys charged, but I don't think you will. Their pikemen are being just destroyed. Oh, here they come now. Some sort of a charge is incoming. The farmhand pikemen are just not doing very well. Let's see if we can get our trolls in now. We managed to break their men with a scream right there. So now we can go straight into their general. However, we can go... Oh, let me not. The white knights are already shaking, actually. That's interesting. Here comes the trolls, though. The trolls are coming in exactly what I want them for. Hit the white knights, trolls. Do thy bidding. Come on, trolls. Kill the white knights. They know they're not in a good matchup. They know. And um, right now our cavalry is really like pulling themselves through. Let's go for the guardsmen. We can we can cause a rout here. 
That would be really good. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Both of them. How much damage are we doing right now? A lot. Let's pull our cavalry out. The main idea is to cause this line to be crushed into our main line, which will do lots of damage to them. As you can see, they've been brought down already. How are all of the trolls doing? They're absolutely smashing them. Go for the royal guard. If we can kill their general with a troll, I'll be most impressed. Ooh, wow, they managed to take a direct punch from the troll. And it killed one! No! My trolls. Our ally is still not here. How embarrassing is that? Ooh, okay. We're into this royal swan guard though. White knights are failing them. They seem to be just running away from the fight. I don't know why. Our trolls are pretty much gone, I'm afraid. But to be expected, they did their job. In fact, I might pull them out. Because if we can retrain them, then, you know... Then they were a good troll unit. If I'm honest. Even if we get one of them out, then it's fantastic. Can we get a... Yes, we can. Will that break any of them? No. We have carved a way through our infantry though. Actually, let's have a look and see. Yeah, it's quite a lot of our men and quite a lot of theirs. The trolls are finally coming in now, the allied trolls. It's going to generally just be the rest of their cavalry. Let's take our cavalry out, though. If our trolls are coming, then, you know, we'll be fine. And that includes you. Don't get caught. What's this? One. Come on. You were running like... Oh, my God. Don't let them get away. Oh, please tell me that's not the general. That is the general. Come on. Oh my god, wow. You just let him run right through you. Just slipped right through you. Can we catch him? Can we catch him? Can we catch him? No, he got away. That's bloody annoying. We lost 913 men. See, we can we can bring Dal Amroth to their knees. We're on par with them. That was a direct assault over the bridge as well. So, hey, we did our job. We managed to kill them. And now we can go for their general because I'm going to send the army out. That was um, coming to Dal Amroth. Okay, so you can go... Where can we train these catapults? 12 units, so 12 turns. No sleeping here. Move. Right there. Objective commission off. No commission off. Regroup, you lad. Orcs. Get ready for fighting. Commission off. Pick your feet up. Get ready for so fighting. So let's see. What units will go out? Well, the archers, no of course, here. can go out. Come on. And a unit of infantry can go out. You can send this here. So there's two armies. There is the general, Lord Dunn here, who's the faction heir. Okay. So another turn it will be. Get ready for fighting. Come on! 
No sleeping here. Pick your feet up. We have trolls absolutely Listen everywhere. Up. No sleeping here. Ah, uh, yes, we have some Olog High coming our way as well. We have to With some stat archers, yet. apparently. Get ready for fighting. Come on. And how is everything going up here? Then are we ready to go? Yeah, we are. No sleeping here. Listen up. Get ready for fighting. Pick your feet up. Orcs. Get ready for fighting. Orcs. Oops, sorry. Our campus is now secure. Get ready for fighting. We'll attack them in the next turn. Let's see. They have some generals there. They can hold up for six turns. So maybe I'll wait them out. We'll see. No sleeping here. Oh god, my graphics card or my computer does not like when there's this many enemies around. It's freaking the hell out. Oh, where's a lot of you? I wonder if they think they can take us. They might come out and attack us. They might come out and attack us. Um, I don't know why I didn't take these guys out as well. If they try and then we'll back off and we'll take this army as well. I, I think we can force them to come out if we were to besiege them. I'm definitely not fighting the elves like that though. So Tarnost, no. Kalambel, yes. Edlond still needs another turn, I believe. Yes, okay. Prison. It's fine. Baradur again is got lots of cool units coming out of it. No Get ready for fighting. Ah, there's another army coming this way. No sleeping here. Move. Get ready for fighting. Come on. Listen up. Another yes, army. Orcs. Pick your feet up. Listen up. Get ready for fighting. Is that what you want? Maybe that will go out towards Isengard. Maybe one stack army to go and rule them all. The army at Kalambel is doing a great job. We don't need to go out just yet, but I do would like a spy. Ready. Hence up. the reason why I prepared for one. So let's see. There's a place up here, and then there's one here. And another settlement there that borders us. Right, let's keep going for another turn or so. I want to see if we can do maybe one more battle or one more siege on Edelond, perhaps. Maybe we can get to Edelond. Oh, uh, not Edelond. Dol Amroth. Oh, that noise. Every time there's like a bugging effect with that noise, that uh, commentary. So we'll hear either that or... Oh, the Prince of Dol Amroth is dead. Oh, okay, no, I can't have you. I'd make fun of you too much. Dorwenian in decline, but they're dead. Ooh, large town ready to upgrade. Carverad. Interesting. Dwarves of Khazadum were poor. We're going to take the Dwarves of Khazadum out. Here comes that stack of Gondorians. Now, let's see. What have they got? Sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. Oh, we have completed an objective. Listen, How many listen, turns are they away? Orcs. They're all okay. Oh, orcs. No sleeping here. Listen up. Get Come ready for that unit fighting. There. Fantastic. No sleeping here. Units back at Tarnost. Oh. So we can't retrain them for a while. We can retrain these units though. Callum Bell will do fine. If they come towards Edlon, they can take Edlon because as long as I take out Dol Amroth, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, Rune has this here. What's going on? Are we losing money? We are losing quite a bit of money. Mainly but just because of the amount of units that we're just no sleeping here. kind of like spewing no. out. Like this army is like ready to go. We kind of just need a general and um, this army will go out. That'll go towards... Oh, we can retrain them. Actually, let's recruit a general, as I was doing, and then let's retrain all these units ready to go out, because I think we can give them good bonuses. Gosh. Get ready for fighting. Come on. Fenulion have units. Head out. Get ready for. Come on. 
We're gonna have just armies and armies going out of the way. Let's see. Faction Air. He's got a lot of good troops. And then Lord Dunn here. Again, he's got lots of troops. I'm gonna wait to turn. No sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. Yeah, let's see what we can do up here in the north then. Can we attack? Listen up. Okay. Pick your feet up. Okay, we can They're all like standing in a spot to take it. How many turns is that? Eight turns. Get ready for fighting. Let's attack Sereth Amroth. Why not? We should not take prisoners only heads. Five turns? Wow, okay, so they're not gonna come and yeah. leave them be. We'll wait the five turns. Why not? No point in sieging them constantly. Alright, that gives us the time to end our turn. No, it doesn't, because we can attack. Let's see, Lord Thorin. The just. Iron Guard. Is this Thorin Oakenshield? It looks kind of like him, but not entirely like him. But is that Thorin Oakenshield? Hmm. No sleeping here. Move. So let's see. Six turns to lay surrender. Hopefully they'll come out and attack us because we've got a good army composition there. Let's no keep going along here. and seeing what's next. This must be Objective all of our land. Wow. Okay, let's end one more turn. Oh, whatever. Principality of Dalhamroth is at my door. What are they going to ask for? Perhaps Ceasefire. we could sort our differences this time. Mm, no. We understand your reservation. You, you have to die. Like, you have to understand this. You're such a thorn in my foot. You need to die. You're so bad. And with Dalhamroth out of the way, Gondor will sharply fall as well. Then the clans of Anadwyeth, Isengard, they'll all falter and just die out. <clears throat> The leader of the Anduin Vale is... The Anduin Vale? Shouldn't that be leader of the Vale of Anduin? No? Yes, Darwinian in decline, whatever. We're still making money, by the way. We're still making quite a lot of money. Pick your feet up. Get ready for fighting. Move. Objective complete. Yeah, so that army's like sitting there waiting for, for us. Mm, let's not risk Edelon then, shall we? If they want to attack it, we'll attack them. Get ready for fighting. Come on. Get ready for fighting. And if I attack them, ooh, I can attack one of them at a time, or should we attack both of them and have one massive battle? I think we'll have one massive battle because I think. They have earned that. They have definitely earned that. It'll be a task to take out their generals. Lord, let's see. Have they got a lot of cavalry? No, they don't. They have a lot more infantry than anything else. Although, I don't know why our own infantry I'm is not... Here. It's not is joining us. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Oh. Is that what you want? Come on! Pick your feet up! Listen up! That's really awkward. They we really should have them. Get ready for fighting. Come and get oh, me. you're standing in the way, you shadow. stupid. Right, get out of my way. Oh, get ready for fighting. I'm just gonna double check everything before we end this episode. Up. Okay, so four turns till they surrender. Seven turns till they surrender. Ten turns because I don't know what they're doing here with the invasion, but it's just not no not here. going very well. So we have Burgram that's being sieged. We also have Eder Charm, Sereth Amroth, and we've also have Dol Amroth being sieged. And we're gonna move out from there. I need generals. Get ready for In fact, generals. I want the Nazgul to return. 
This army is ready to go. We'll send this army out towards Isengard. Let's see. However, we need a general. Get ready for fighting. No sleeping here. No sleeping here. So that will need to be done before we can head out. And so if we have an army heading out towards Isengard, we can take out Isengard quickly. So there's a lot going on in this campaign, and I'm going to focus on this campaign a lot before the... Ooh, Rangman's of Anwar's banner looks really cool before version 1 comes out. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. In the next one, we will try and take Dol Amroth. I can't promise you anything, but this army is quite powerful. And if we can use our trolls effectively to take out their general, kill their cavalry, and everything else, then we'll be fine. We will be fine. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we'll be fine anyway. But uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. My name was Ibby, as always, and I'll be back to bring you another episode in another two days, hopefully. So thank you guys for watching, and that is me signing off for now.